It all started with a single Facebook page, an effort to get food and supplies for animals that had been impacted by the flooding. Well, to say the least, it went viral. Just told them what was happening in Louisiana, and a lot of people were just shocked. They didn't know. They had no idea we were even flooding. Are Melissa's seal operates a State of Grace Stables and Farm, teaches riding, stables horses, rescues animals. When the flood water is hit, it was obvious flooded families would have nothing to feed their pets, and their pets might be all they had left. Their homes are gone, their cars are gone, their jobs are gone, their schools are gone, but they can still have their pet. If they could feed them. If they can feed them, right. And and we can feed them. You bet she can. Since her Facebook post went out 10 days ago, the flood has been of donations from all over the world. The post office jammed. Tons of pet food and supplies. Even bales of hay came in. Non-stop deliveries. And now visitors willing to take as much as they can carry back to the people and pets who need it. And I did see this post Melissa had put out and I thought, what the heck? Carolyn drove all the way from Nashville. For two days now, she's been loading up her truck and taking the supplies to the people and their pets in the flood stricken areas. One post did this. Janet Lopresto in from Lafayette, picking up food for Acadiana Parish animal shelters and pet owners. It's people yeah. that you take their babies away from, their fur babies, that's dev We can't take the last thing they know. Melissa's challenge now, get the pet food and supplies to those that need it. Come here, I'll load your truck up and give you an idea of what location who is really in need. Go out there, show your children what it's about to be compassionate. The call for animal food and supplies went out 10 days ago. The response went global and shows no signs of stopping. Near Covington, Heath Allen, WDSU News.